want to talk about the lead arm, the front arm, our mid and mid arm, and the impact it has on our throwing success. I actually call the mid arm the steering wheel of the throw. It can help us or it can hurt us. When used correctly, it helps us maintain a consistent release point and helps our throws go consistently where we want them to our target. One of the most common mistakes I see with training videos posted all the time all over social media is catchers bringing their mitt and mid arm entirely too far back. So we'll see videos of catchers trying to rest their arms so they're not actually making a throw. They're just going to do the fork and exchange. But then at foot strike, when their left foot hits the ground, they look like this. Their mitt is way back here by their face or behind. At foot strike, when our foot hits the ground, our mid arm is actually out in front. And a lot of times, it is already clearing. The elbow is squeezing back. Our scapula, our shoulder blades are pinching together. And again, that happens when our foot hits the ground. So when you're practicing your exchange and footwork, make sure that when the ball is going up and back, your mid arm is going up and out. So that by the time your left foot hits the ground, your mid arm is out in front. When we bring the mitt too far back, biomechanically, it just doesn't make sense. When the mid arm's back, the first movement that we're gonna make at foot strike is gonna wanna be to rip this elbow back, which typically causes some cast out or flare out of our arm, and we get on the side of the ball and create a lot of tail. We do not want that first move to be yanking it back because it's so far back here by our face, we want it out here and it's starting to kind of fold or clear down into the side. So that's going to help literally slingshot our throwing arm forward. I'm going to show you some videos now of what I'm talking about. And keep in mind at the end of this, I'll actually show you some drills and exercises you can do to help you use your lead arm, your front arm correctly. Again, the front side will help the back side. JT Riomuto, the best throwing catcher in 2019, watch his lead arm, exchange midline, as the ball's going up and back, his mid arm goes up and out, so that at foot strike, his mid is out front. Exchange midline, mid arm goes out front. Here's Tony Walters between innings, whether it's game situation, warm-ups, practice. You should be consistent with that lead arm. Exchange at the midline. He's just slightly past, like I say, be right by the uh, right shoulder. As the throwing arm goes up and back, the mid arm goes up and out so that at foot strike, his elbows are pinching back, his front side is already starting to clear, and his lead arm is out in front. His mid is not back by his face. Here's Roberto Perez, a gold glove winner in 2019. Exchange somewhere around the midline of the body. As the throwing arm goes up and back, his mid arm goes up and out so that a foot strike, he's got the lead arm elevated out in front and already starting to clear. A lot of time what happens with our mid arm, our lead arm, comes from what we do during our exchange. We want to make sure we're exchanging at the midline of our body. The ball should be coming out of our mitt somewhere around straight out in front of our chest, maybe toward our back shoulder, toward our right shoulder. If it's any farther back than that, that typically means we miss the grip, and then we're just doing what we got to do to get the ball out of our mitt. Okay? But ideally, we want it to come around, come out sometime around the midline of our body. As I was explaining earlier, once we have possession, as the ball is going up and back, our mid arm goes up and out. Your lead arm elbow should end up somewhere around shoulder height. There are some elite level throwers that have their elbow a little bit lower than most, but most of the best have their elbow somewhere around shoulder height and their mitt is out front. It is not back here by their chest or back here by their ear. At foot strike, your mid arm is out in front. When our front foot lands, we're at foot strike, our shoulders need to be closed. Right now, my shoulders are open. Right now, my shoulders are square. Now, my shoulders are closed. We want our shoulders closed 
with our scapular or our shoulder blades pinched. This front arm, this lead arm, is starting to clear. Our throwing arm elbow is behind us. And all that's going to do is help slingshot our arm forward. When we bring this mitt too far back, so the mitt's back by our face and our elbow is past where it needs to be, that initial movement is typically ripping this lead arm back and that's going to cause us to flare out or cast out with our arm, get on the side of the ball and create a lot of movement. We need to have this mid arm out in front. During that exchange process, he's thinking about pulling from his shoulder blades. He's trying to do that scapular retraction and bring those elbows back behind him. 